is your dome. Kind of. So at the bottom here... I want light yellow. So for the ground I want yellow. Question is, do I keep it inside the... The, uh, the stone blocks. Bright colors because up in the uh, high latitudes especially during long winters people kind of people tend to get depression due to the lack of sunlight and so uh, we want to have some bright colors, try to cheer people up. I guess this wouldn't be there, this would be like there. Let's leave a gap. So you know, to avoid Psychological challenge of uh, long dark winters. We want bright colored architecture. some patterns in the yellow though. It's very flat, isn't it? The concrete is remarkably flat. It's just like... <laughs> it's, it's not a very sophisticated texture, it's just one color. <laughs> Monochrome. <laughs> there's, there's no texture in the texture. It's just one color. <laughs> Maybe I should like do the dome first. I should throw this in. Alright, I really don't want to have to deal with this lake down here. I'm not a huge fan of the subsurface lakes. Oh my god, it's huge. Because in the real world, you would not have like a single block of dirt sitting above a lake, right? Because the dirt would fall into the lake. Like, I'm okay with surface lakes. I am not okay with lakes that are like one block under the surface. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Like deep underground lakes make sense. This, this shallow underground lake doesn't make any sense.
Alright, let's remember how to get out of here. What is this, by the way? Alright, there's the exit. Oh, this doesn't need to be there anymore. Let me fill this in. And this. is annoying yeah I just realized that eventually the diamond dome will be completely covered in snow <laughs> and then it will look like a real igloo not because I've built it out of snow, but because the snow would accumulate. Uh, what happens here? Oh, that's fine. They should make the snow melt. They should make. They should make the snow melt during the day. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't melt during the day. Because if you put a light source next to the snow, the snow would melt. So above a certain brightness, the snow would melt by itself. But it doesn't melt in the daylight, even though it's full brightness in the daylight. Imagine if snow didn't melt in the real world. <laughs> Every time it snows, it would just accumulate on your roof. <laughs> and then when, when the sun comes out, it doesn't, doesn't melt off your roof, it just stays there. <laughs> that wouldn't work, would it? No, it wouldn't work at all. <laughs> but that's how it is in Minecraft. <laughs> Like once it falls, it never melts again. Whose big brain idea was that?
how hard would it be? Because like, you know, when it snows, it accumulates. All right, so is it any more difficult from a, from a game, like from a programming perspective, is it any more difficult for it to melt again? Like to remove snow when it's not snowing? Or like during the day when it's not snowing to remove the snow? It, it shouldn't be difficult because you do that with light sources and that doesn't break the game. Right? Like if you put down torches in the snow, the snow would melt around it. That doesn't break the game or anything. leave this for now. I did say leave a gap, didn't I? I probably won't actually leave a gap, now that I think about it. Anyway, let's, let's save that until later on. Um, save that problem until later on. The problem of um, how to do the tracks. Let's uh, let's do this. So the easy stuff, that's easy, right? That's easy. Let's fill that in. Oh, I just realized I. That's supposed to be down here. Okay, no big deal. I can I can fix that. real quick. Right, that's there. Oh, I just realized I missed this too. Oh no! Three and three. One, two, three. One, two, three, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, okay. Missed a quarter there. Now this part... Because this doesn't actually go all the way out. Does it? Or 
does it? What if what if it does just go all the way out? No, it's a little strange, especially um Maybe it's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Don't panic. Alright, so we just uh It's a little bit strange. That's not how a real sphere would look, but it's close enough that I don't think I mind. And uh, if I do mind, I might just do something about it later. see what happens. Close enough. One, two, three, four. Maybe I knock back the corners on there, 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 and there. The rest of that is fine. Um, before I do that though, I might finish the rest of this. So I remember what it is I'm doing. 